Hey folks, JP here. I'm at the Audubon Zoo again in New Orleans, and uh, we have bees this time in the Chinese tallow tree. Uh, the zoo is uh, going to make this the new elephant exhibit. I think they're adding at least another acre to the elephant uh, exhibit. And uh, the workers uh, came, were clearing out this little mini island right here uh, and uh, came across the bees. I think a few of them got stung up. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove the bees and cut what's left of the Chinese tallow tree down. There's maybe eight feet of a tree left. So uh, the bees at this point seem pretty gentle to be. I can see some old comb in the tree. Um, I'm not sure if, if the hive actually extends up into the tree itself or if it's just kind of near the, the, uh, the base of the tree. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. All right, so here's our tallow tree. This is what's left of it. You see, not much, uh, maybe eight, nine feet of tree left. I'll show you what the, show you our bees. See them in the cavity there. And uh, I don't know if, this, if they go up into the tree or if it's just all contained here, but just containing this stomp area, there may not be a, a whole bunch of bees. And this is what I had to clear right here to uh, to get to this point because they had just debris everywhere.
our colony right here. You can see there's not much to it really. You see the combs got a little age to them, so who knows how long they've been here. But we're going to give them a new home. Nice gentle bees, even after cutting open their nest with a chainsaw. <laughs> Gentle bees were bothering you guys? <laughs> huh? Well, when we shook them up. Somebody said they got stung? Huh? Well, I got stung right here. Did you? On the machine. Oh. Uh, I shook them up. You know, yeah. that, that, that big lamb that was right here went yeah. there and hit the stump, you know, and then the engine running, I guess, kind of got them shook up. Yeah. I went on down to the Audubon Zoo and they all asked for you. They all ask for you. For who? Well, they even inquired about you. I went on down to the Audubon Zoo, wow. and they all ask for you. The monkey's ass, the tiger's ass, and the elephant asked me to. You saw our queen. <laughs> Might be on the back side of this one. Just on the front side, almost caught her. She must have run up. Okay. There she is. All right, I got her that time. All right. Kind of orange, a little black tip. There's our girl. She's a little runny, see? She's all over the place. <laughs> but she's pretty. She's kind of one of those orange queens. Like I said, she's got a little black dot on her, too. But she's got quite a bit of orange in her. She's pretty. And nervous. Hey! Hi! Oh, I left my phone. Caught the queen about uh, maybe five minutes ago, I guess. Huh? Caught the queen about five minutes ago. You want to see her? Yeah. I miss every time you do this, so. How do you know who she is? You'll see. She see her right there? Right okay, there. yeah, wow. So she's bigger. She's, she's a lot bigger, bigger than that. Her back is more orange. Oh, I see yours. Orange. Yeah, she's. Okay. See how they cover them? They're protecting them. You want to tend uh -huh. the groomer, feed her. They do everything for them. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I mean by that. Yeah. Queen bee. Queen bee. Oh, yeah, she's real big. <laughs> I don't know how long they've been here. Because uh, some of the comb is dark, see? Mm -hmm. and it starts out, it's, it's white. So I think it's been here. If I had to guess, I'd say three, four months or so, but it was probably a small swarm. Mm -hmm. And then with this tree being in bad shape, whatever rain blowing, it's probably getting water coming down on the hive. Mm -hmm. so Do you think this is in close enough proximity that these could have been the robber bees? I think it was the porcupine bees. Oh, you think it was the porcupine yeah. bees? Okay. And good news, good news. They plan to renovate the exhibit sometime in the near future, and yeah. they're going to take all that out, and when we get to that really? point, you can take the hive out safely. They're not taking all the cords okay. out and everything. They're going to put a different animal in there. They're going to put oh, a okay. uh, jaguar in there. Yeah, because you know the porcupines, the orange stinks. <laughs> yeah. Did you go over there today? I didn't go over there today, but oh, the, I've, mercy. I've been around this. Oh, There's some in the field right now, you know, they're working flowers and things like that. Okay. If we take it away right now, we're going to leave some behind, you know. But tonight, they'll all be in the box, and I'll, I'll slide this little deal back, and I'll I'll put my pins in and we'll close it up and we'll take them home. And I'm what do you them. have in there to make them go in there? The queen. Put the queen. And their hive too. And, the and hive. their hive. 
Another successful removal. All right, this is the part you really like right here. Mm -hmm. This is their new home. You can see them. They're orienting. Okay. Check them out. Another one from the Audubon Zoo, from JP the B-Man. Y'all have a good day. Take care now.